Welcome, brothers and sisters, to the Catholic Mass at St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. On this, the memorial of St. Justin Martyr, a layman and apologist of the mid-2nd century. My name is Father Charles Zock. Let's begin in song with In the Day of the Lord. In the day of the Lord, the sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day. All creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the Lord. And on that day will justice triumph, on that day we'll all be free, free from want, free from fear free to live. In the day of the Lord the sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day. All creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, as outlined in the famous treatise of St. Justin on the Mass, we call to mind our sins so we might celebrate with pure hearts. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, who through the folly of the cross wondrously taught St. Justin the martyr the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. reading from the book of Tobit. On the night of Pentecost, after I had buried the dead, I, Tobit, went into my courtyard to sleep next to the courtyard wall. My face was uncovered because of the heat. I did not know there were birds perched on the wall above me, till their warm droppings settled in my eyes causing cataracts. I went to see some doctors for a cure, but the more they anointed my eyes with very salves, the worse the cataracts became, until I could see no more. For four years I was deprived of eyesight, and all my kinsmen were grieved at my condition. Ahikwar however, took care of me for two years, until he left for Elimaeus. At that time, my wife Anna worked for hire at weaving cloth, the kind of work women do. When she sent back the goods to their owners, they would pay her. Late in winter, on the seventh of distress, she finished the cloth and sent it back to the owners. They paid her the full salary, and also gave her a young goat for the table. On entering my house, the goat began to bleat. I called to my wife and said, Where did this goat come from? Perhaps it was stolen. Give it back to the owners. We have no right to eat stolen food. 
she said to me, It was given to me as a bonus over and above my wages. Yet I would not believe her, and told her to give it back to its owners. I became very angry with her over this. So she retorted, Where are your charitable deeds now? Where are your virtuous acts? See, your true character is finally showing itself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be might upon earth, that upright generation shall be blessed. The heart of the just one, trusting in the Lord. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. chapter of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand, where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. <clears throat> the Gospel of the Lord. During this week, we read from the book of Tobit. Tobit is Jewish folklore, happened during the Assyrian captivity of northern Israel, sent into captivity that is the surrounding feature of the book of Tobit. It's all about a family. Tobit, his wife Anna, their son Tobias, who married Sarah. But also coming into the scene will be Raphael, the archangel. There are moments of humor in the book of Tobit, like the droppings of a bird blinding Tobit. He did a charitable deed that day and then decided to rest. The charitable, charitable deed was burying the dead. He obviously was known for his virtuous deeds, for that came up again. 
when the wife needed to support the household by becoming a full-time seamstress. And so we hear today about her being given a bonus, a goat. And the goat comes into the house and bleats, and Tobit knew that there was something not quite right. So he got into an argument with his wife. Take the goat back, it's obviously stolen. She explained that no, it was a gift, but he wouldn't hear of it. And then the wife said, where are your charitable deeds now? Where is all your virtue? There'll be other stories during this week from the book of Tobit, and we can easily as family members relate to some of the drama that takes place in this household of Tobit and Anna. Through it all, we continue to hear about their turning to God for guidance, for protection. That is the important thing of the folklore contained in the book of Tobit. He will be our God, for we are his people. Turn to the Lord. And so we as a family can certainly be encouraged to accomplish that whether we live in a parish, in a family setting, or even in a religious order. Turn to the Lord. There will always be drama, but the Lord will always be there. Let us stand and make these petitions to our Heavenly Father. We pray for all families, that they might indeed turn to the Lord always as a guide and remain faithful, for the Lord is indeed loving and merciful. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray for all of those who are held captive. We pray for prisoners, that they never lose heart, that they turn to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all of those laymen and women who have surfaced to write and preach the good news. May they be inspired by St. Justin Martyr. We pray to the Lord. Lord have our and finally, for the finishing touches and continued progress on our Madonna Center and for safety for the workers, we make all of these our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands, this will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our sins, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the glory of the Church. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries, which St. Justin strenuously defended, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Justin, poured out by Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel, Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope and Alexander and Peter our bishops, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, with Justin and the martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
And now at the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us share a sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. Of the world. Have mercy Amen. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May this body of Christ keep thee safe. May the blood of Christ keep thee safe. I resolved to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and him crucified. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray.
refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, sir. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. In the day of the Lord, the sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day. All creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the Lord. Oh, give us eyes to see your glory, give us hearts to understand. Let our ears hear your voice till you come. In the day of the Lord the sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day. All creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the Lord. 